<laughs> Hi students. Today we are going to be starting a new chapter book. Miss Rupi is Loopy. Now this is the third book into Miss Daisy is Crazy. So we're going to meet another teacher, Mrs. Rupi, and she is Loopy. And you're probably wondering what does the word Loopy mean? Loopy is another word for crazy or silly. So she's going to be a silly teacher. So we need to figure out who is Miss Rupi. And it's by, do, do you guys remember who the author is in the Miss Daisy is Crazy series? Dan Gutman. So we are back to reading one of his books. Miss Rupi is Loopy. And then it's dedicated to Emma. And do you guys remember who Emma is? It, that is Dan Gutman's daughter. So he always dedicates um, in the beginning of it, every book of his to his daughter, which is really sweet. And then this page is really important, the table of contents. And it's important because it has how many chapters are going to be in this book we're going to be reading. So if you look inside, how many chapters are there? Shout it out. We have a total of 12 chapters, but, it's really, but what is really cool about the table of content is, so if you are on chapter seven, you need to figure out what page, page it is on. You just go to this little column um, right here. Okay, so chapter seven, one small step for man. It is on page 43. So the table of contents is really handy to have in a book that has that is longer than like a shorter book that we have been reading. Let's see. And then we flip inside and we have the set of characters. So we still have AJ. You guys remember AJ. He was the main character in Miss Daisy's Crazy. And we have his friend Emily and Ryan. Andrea, who's kind of like the know-it-all student. Like, okay, I know the answer to this question. And then we have Michael. So we'll still see the same characters. I wonder if we'll see um, Miss Daisy in this book. <laughs> But we're going to be meeting Mrs. Rupee. And before we begin, let's go ahead and read the back of our chapter book. Because it gives us kind of like an overview of what's going on in the book. Something weird is going on. Mrs. Rupee, the new librarian. Ah, so she's not a teacher. She's the new what? The librarian. So she's in the library. She works in the library in the school. Comes to school wearing a pot on her head. Hmm. Have you guys ever seen anyone with a pot on their head like you used for cooking, like a mixing pot? I have not. No, nope, I have not. <laughs> One day, she thinks she's George Washington. And the next day, she's little Bo Peep. The worst part is she doesn't even know how silly she is. Oh, so we have to meet the new librarian to see why she is crazy. And then the first chapter we're going to be reading today is called That Army Guy. Hmm, so I wonder what this chapter is going to be about. My name is AJ and I dislike school. If you ask me, they shouldn't teach kids how to read or write in school. They shouldn't teach math. They should teach kids how to do tricks on their bikes. That's what I want to learn. But my teacher, Miss Daisy, ah, so she's in this book. Miss Daisy, Miss Daisy thinks reading and writing and math are really important for some reason. Hmm. Do you guys think reading and math is very important? Do you think you guys should learn how to do tricks on bikes and um, play video games in school? <laughs> Miss Daisy told us to write a story for homework and draw a picture to go with it. We read the stories out loud the next day in class. Andrea Young, who thinks she knows everything, made up a story about a family of flowers who were sad because it was cloudy outside. And there's a photo of Andrea reading her story and it has photos of flowers. Um, let's see. Andrea Young, who thinks she knows everything, made up a story about a family of flowers who were sad because it was cloudy outside. Then the sun came out and the flowers got happy again. It was a really silly story if you ask me. Flowers aren't happy or sad. They just sit there and do nothing. They don't even have families. But Miss Daisy kept telling Andrea how great the story was. 
My story is about these gigantic man-eating monsters fighting on trick bikes in outer space until they were all gone. And then here's a photo of, or here, here's the image of um, AJ's story when he was, what he was telling the class of like man-eating monsters riding bicycles in outer space. Hmm, that's very creative. <laughs> I drew cool pictures to go with it. Emily, this girl with red hair, said my story was scary, but Emily thinks everything is scary. Miss Daisy said I had a good imagination, but she asked me if next time I could try to write a story that didn't have so much um, violence in it. <laughs> What's violent about a giant, a giant man-eating monsters fighting on trick bikes in outer space, I asked. Everyone laughed, even though I didn't, th I didn't say anything funny. Andrea said maybe I could have I could have had I could have the man eating monsters make up at the end of the story and tell each other they were sorry. Monsters don't apologize, I said. Everybody knows that. Andrea doesn't know anything about monsters. We were arguing about it when all of a sudden some some funny looking guy marched into our classroom. He was all dressed up in a fancy army uniform. He had a white wig on its head and a sword in his hand. And then here and then this guy comes into his classroom and he's dressed up kind of as a soldier. Has on a wig and a sword and a nice army coat. Hmm, I wonder why he's dressed up. He had a white wig on his head and a sword in his hand. To be prepared for war is the best way to keep the peace, the army guy said. Then he marched out of the classroom. Who was that? Asked my friend Michael, who never, who never ties his shoes, no matter how many times he trips over the laces. Beats me, I said. Was that Principal Klutz? Asked my other friend Ryan, who sits, who sits next to me in the third row. And Principal Klutz is the principal of their school. I don't know who it was, Miss Daisy said, but he was headed for the library. We better go check it out. Okay, second graders, single file. Huh, so they're gonna head for the library to see who was the guy that was dressed up as a soldier. Yeah, I would be pretty curious if some guy dressed up as a soldier and came into my classroom, I would probably be like, who is that? <laughs> and that was the end of first chapter and it was called that army guy, which makes sense because the, a, a random arm, a guy, a random guy that came into their dress room that was dressed up in a, um, in a military uniform. So that's why that first chapter was called that. But in chapter two, we were going to be reading the librarian. So we'll have to read on next time to see what chapter two is going to be about. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.